Hello everybody, this is Tundra Hatake here today. Um playing Fallout 4. Uh and I just wanted to show off a little player home. Not that I made. Well, I I like place down furniture and decorations, but the mod that actually adds this in, I believe is called Docs Concord uh, player home or Concord water tower player home I, I can't remember right this second but it will be in the description uh, and as you can see we're just at the water tower sanctuary whoa whoa Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I don't mean to go off track. I'm just gonna loot their things. Since we're so close to, um, you know, sanctuary, I can either, you know, give the settlers the armor or weapons, or I could also scrap it because I have scrapper. But, um, that sanctuary over there, as you can see, there's the, there's the, uh, vault billboard, and then there's my radio tower I built. But, this is just a water tower. I'm sorry if I was, uh, rambling on. I'm gonna get in here before anything else happens. Um, also, there's no grass or well there's less grass if you couldn't tell I reduce the density just because um there you know uh, on Xbox one especially with all the mods and stuff um and like especially especially if you're like near a workshop like it already takes a long time uh, like With the, when you open up the workshop, the settlement workshop, it already takes a while because I have all sorts of building mods. Um, so, like, in my settlements, especially with a lot of settlers, you know, it can get really laggy. So, yeah, I just try to increase performance as best I can have god rays disabled and anti-aliasing disabled too i originally had like a texture pack that improved performance but uh, you know it it was about 500 megabytes it, i think it was vivid fallout aoi or a i o all in one and it it took up a lot of space which is limited on Xbox one because you know Bethesda oh Bethesda Bethesda we love you anyway um, you got a little sneak peek uh, this this is the entrance or exit depending on where you're headed uh, around here I have a lot of you know clutter just to make it feel more lived in there's a lot of scrap over here because this it, these are the workstations there's the weapons workbench and the, the armor workbench and the chemistry workbench and I added a lot of clutter to make it feel more like a realistic uh, workshop area and over here is some stuff that you know I, I keep by the exit for when I go outside I guess I've got all this stuff a lot of clutter some cigarettes uh, there's a duffel bag which which you know 
uh, I guess like in a role play sense, it could be the duffel bag I take out when I go exploring. And there's a shotgun and machete and an umbrella stand, which I think is from uh, the Cur the Kuro tab, K U R O. Um, it's a settlement building mod, really good one too. A lot of I like uh, the clutter objects it adds, and it also has some nice furniture I think. And then another one I used is. CVC, Dead Wasteland, and USO Unlock Settlement Objects, all of which I will remember to link in the description. So this is the workshop area. So I can cook some chems, you know, or a Molotov, uh, call traps. And it's it's a modest little little base, and in like a role play perspective, I think that this place is somewhere where my character uh, arc, where she can come to wind down. You know, she sanctuary is right nearby, but she she wanted a place to herself. She. She doesn't like the memories that Sanctuary has, and and on top of that, who doesn't want to live in a cool bunker? So there's all my things. There's a power box. There's some posters saying safety first. There is a safe. The hamper. Uh. And then this is sort of the living room area over here. Uh, she's got some plants down here in a little planter box. I think this planter box is from Mad Kia, uh, which adds furniture and stuff. Oh, by the way, yes, I did. I did spawn in a bunch of junk for me to use. Just because it's like a player home, it, it, like I don't really have any increased functionality with it, and believe me, I probably have enough junk to made to make what I made anyway. Uh, like in Sanctuary, I have a lot of scrap because I pretty I pretty much scrap everything I can just to build up my settlements and craft and stuff oh and right here oh I gotta kinda push that outwards a little bit but if you have a humanoid companion they'll lean on this railing uh, but I have a med kit I have a prized laser musket hanging up I've got some nuka cola I've got some goodies in here some books bit of booze, some caps, I think those are some hollow tapes, and then there's a radio for listening to when I want to hear some tunes, some Diamond City radio, and then this is a Vault 111 jumpsuit, as, as you may know, the playable character comes out of Vault 111, so it would make sense for that to be there. There's a card of books, uh, and some scraps, some, uh, some useful things. There's some parts, there's some fuel, a battery. Right here, uh, I think the bathroom, uh, decor that the Kuro tab adds. I'm pretty sure that's the Kuro tab. Or I'm fairly certain. So this is really cool in my opinion. This is like a it's pretty much a toilet that like this is supposed to be where the water comes out of. So say if I didn't have proper plumbing I could you know, go to 
the nearby sanctuary river and get water and fill up this can with water and then uh, and this is usable uh, you know and then there's some toilet paper you know for doing what you gotta do with toilet paper some vim refresh so like like a poster so say I go to Far Harbor uh, take this as a souvenir a Nuka World flag same idea with the Vim poster right here is a little cooking area which uh, I think the decal on the ground kinda makes the food look disgusting cause look at that steak ew and then the the pan so I, I might I might end up moving that and like make an actual stove but that's a working cooking station uh, with a bit of decor then there's all sorts of cooking utensils and extra food then there's some more books some posters that I get from exploring the Commonwealth a vault poster cuz that would make sense cuz I came from the vault there's a hand towel uh, you know there's there's ammo there's a safe that I put this safe in I store whatever I need to uh, and then there's another, there's a sink, which I'm pretty sure is from the Kiro tab. Uh, I really like this sink. Uh, it's got a bit of clutter, and it looks, like a lot of the furniture from the Kiro tab looks very nice. It, it has some cams, and a little dish rag. Then here's my bed. Nothing too fancy. I would have added in like a more custom looking bed but I didn't uh, I, I couldn't scrap this bed it this bed came with the player home just like all these crafting stations up here in the workshop uh, toolbox uh, but you know, I, I added some stashes of caps down there, and then some booze. And then here's a little bed for dog meat. You know, uh, he can lay on the ground with his teddy bear and fuse box. Uh, here is a dinner table. It's got, uh, it's got a lot of food. And then there's some chairs surrounding it. Uh, three chairs because, well, frequently I, I have a mod which allows you to travel with a companion, like, like, a humanoid companion I would say human but as you can see I'm with Nikki V right now and he isn't human he's a synth so so like you know what I mean though like a companion uh, I can have him dog meat and a robot so in my case Ada and then there's also a fourth companion who's in sanctuary right now uh, but that's because she she isn't classified as a vanilla companion so I can bring her with her uh, she's Heather Kasdan she's from a mod uh, so there yeah there's three three seats because there's three humans slash a Three, two humans in a synth that could be here uh, lots of food up here there's more booze than in the corner there's some more food storage uh, there's there's some plants 
this I know is from the Kiro tab. There's a painting, all sorts of stuff. This is a little workstation with with a desk and some clutter on it. And then there's a filing cabinet, which I kind of use place anywhere to uh, kind of make it look like it's in the wall, I guess. And then another painting. Uh, then over here is a bed for one of the companions. Uh, I keep stuttering with in the game. I don't know why. And then... And there's a decorated nightstand. Um, and I can't get in here. Well, I can. I just would have to move this. And it takes like a full minute to get the workshop open. So I'm not going to do that on video. But in here, nothing too complex. There's a lamp and then there's a foot locker under the bed. And over here, here's kind of another workshop area. Uh, there's some, there's a washer and dryer. And then there's a bookshelf, pretty neat bookshelf. Uh, custom, I think it's from the Kiro tab. Has some clutter already on it. Uh, and I would use do it your shelf, but for some reason it isn't working on the workshop menu so I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that um, there's an ironing board then here there's some medical stuff some cams a uh, bunch of posters there's a periodic table of elements poster then there's a gauss rifle some extra weapons over here uh, this this is super cool. I really like this uh, workshop. I like reskin because um, it it looks super immersive. Like there's all the clutter, and then there's a radio. It, it looks really nice in my opinion. And I uh, what looks even better as like a combo is for these two to be right next to each other. It it really makes a cool looking workshop. Uh, have a tool rack and this right here is also super cool it's like a little synth operating table and it looks so cool because uh, for one there's all the clutter down here and it and like like I said these two going together look really nice in my opinion so it looks like Ark here was tampering with the uh, synth. I think it's a Gen 2 or Gen 1. I don't know. They were tampering with it. Uh, if I were Nick, I'd probably be scared, you know. <laughs> ripping apart the synth. Uh, but it looks really nice to me. Uh, so that's all the player home like the player home itself isn't too highly decorated when you first get here like it has the crafting stations look which look really nice uh, and it it has some basic things uh, this piece of plywood over here is actually a power armor station I would have scrapped it because my character doesn't really use power armor but uh, it's unscrappable as far as I know and then there was this room apart from that little piece of plywood was empty when I first got here so I really filled it up and then there the cooking station that's here when I get here uh, there was a different sink and then this mirror but I replaced the sink uh, there was this bed which I couldn't scrap or else I would have replaced uh, there was a toilet that uh, it was like a vanilla uh, destroyed toilet uh, this couch 
in this little end table right here. Th those were here. Uh, these work benches, they were here. This fuse box was here. This bobblehead shelf, it was here. So, you know, if you want to put the uh, bobbleheads, like they actually show up and it, I think it's really neat because uh, you can actually display all the bobbleheads which I think I'm gonna use this as like a primary player home because sanctuary is the primary settlement I go to so I'm thinking uh, I might actually put all the bobbleheads here once I collect them all um, and then there was this safe and then the workshop and the ladder of course and then there were the lights and the ceiling decoration like all these uh, beams and these vents and stuff so um, originally it wasn't too highly decorated uh, well I I'm not saying anything about the mod creators decorating skills I, I think they most likely wanted to leave it like a blank space so people could actually build what they want to in it and I, I think originally like I think that the actual player home itself is really nice and uh, you know with you can pretty much do whatever you want with it because this room like I said is pretty much completely blank when you find it anyways that's gonna be all for this video uh, I hope I didn't say uh, too much throughout the video and that I didn't ramble on too much I I'm just not used to making YouTube videos really like uh, like like uh, especially Fallout videos I'm not you cuz I never really make Fallout videos I think this is like my first one that's up on my channel and I, I tried to pad out the video a little bit so it's not super short and so I could let everyone get a like a good glance at everything but anyway that's all for this one and I'll catch you guys next time maybe I'll do another fallout video at some point maybe another settlement build or maybe even a player home maybe I might review some player homes like just standard player homes I know I have one in Far Harbor made by Eleonora I think I think I have that. Uh, I mean, most of Eleonora's player homes, I can't actually install just because so many of them take up like a hundred megabytes or so. And on Xbox One, it is limited with how much mods you can have, like how many. Like, the uh, storage space of mods is limited, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, uh, I understand why, that you don't want to make the game unplayable. Uh, you, know, you know what, next time I think I'm going to do, like, a video of me actually building a settlement. Maybe, maybe Red Rocket, because I haven't done anything with Red Rocket yet. Um, anyways... Sounds like there's a gunfight in the distance, so I'll catch you next time.